begin to see things in the depth that at first sight seem utterly remote. What the hell is that? You come across all kinds of funny little monsters and wiggly things that bear no resemblance to what we recognize as the human image. Hello? How could they have anything to do with us? They are so far off and so unlikely. When we're dead, there could be nothing at all forever. As if that was something to worry about. So they have done a big change with this place. They knocked down the entire wall and there's a lot to explore here. Apparently they've been inviting certain people here. Uh, I believe they were doing a, a thing with Michael Myers where you were getting chased with, by somebody with a knife and you had to run around or whatever. There was like a hundred people here. There was a lot of weird paranormal activity happening here during that process. I spoke to the mayor and I, for every time I think of the mayor, I know he's carrying a revolver. <laughs> but I spoke to the mayor, and the mayor says he's excited for me to check out this place because apparently the activity here has been a lot. And since I've been here recording, and I did do a Discord not too long ago, I was getting some weird stuff or hearing movement happening within this place. But like always, enough with the talking, and let's get right into it. I do want to point the thermal imaging camera at the windows and seeing if I can see any reflections or anything moving or looking around. I might not catch anything, but, and then continue down and seeing what I can get. Let's see what we see. First building in that red room there is clearly the AC. It's actually on hot. That's where I'm kind of storing some more of my equipment there. Again, if you guys see anything, let me know. This is the other building that unfortunately I don't have access to, but let's see what we see. Thermal imaging, or the TAM cam. I gotta start calling this thing the TAM cam. TAM, you got it for me. What the hell is that? Look at that. I'm getting a small little signature there on the top window. Let me turn on my light. But with the thermal, I'm definitely picking up a signature. It looks like a little head sticking out. See if it moves. What the hell is that? I 
I don't see anything. Oh, it's gone. All right, I did pick up a signature right on that one window there. And it is gone. Hold on, I'm going to move more to the left here, see if I can pick it up again. Go to a different window. I lost it. I had something right over here looking out the window and it's gone. Oh, that was creepy. I just got goosebumps. Is there someone there? Hello? I got something. Can you come closer? Wait a second, I, I missed it. It's like they show up for a little bit. And then it's gone. Hi, I'm Frank. I like to explore places and I think I see you on camera. Can you say hi? sound is because it's registering something. Look, I'm getting something right there. I'm going to step back now. I cannot wait to explore this building. Something I don't think I showed you guys, there's actually a safe built into the wall here. So it's kind of like a fallout little tiny shelter here I want you guys to see. Look. This is the safe right here. And it's kind of printed into the door. Again, this is a hospital. There's another latch. This whole room here is all concrete. But one of the good news is, is that something ironic happened here. They fixed the elevator. One of the most hardest things to fix in a building, especially a historic one, is the elevator. And the mayor got it working. Open this up. Closing the Resident Evil doors. there's been a couple of groups here because when you see those balloons they are supposed to move if there's any spirits this place gave me the biggest jump scare and I think it was with this little guy right here I think on the Discord, I got creeped out with something here.
Someone there? sounds like a moan. I got a good mic so maybe you guys be able to hear it. I guess headphones recommended. the camera. Alright. And then this guy freaked me out too. What is that about? I think this is for... I'm pretty sure this is for... Sound like the elevator door. Because sometimes these doors shut on their own. Um, there is a spring that adjusts the door to close it, and I think I had it open just a snag. But that just completely closed on its own. Why would it take so long to close? I'm gonna see if I can take out the K2 meter and walk around this area, see if I can get any spikes while looking around. I still got like three other floors to check out. <laughs> I'm not that scared anymore because I have protection, but. Were you a patient here? Oh my god! Is there anybody in this room? It's really cold up here. Usually that's a good sign. It tells me that anything can be possible. Marco? back. I just want to make sure 
I'm not getting any power lines. Can you try to move the balloon for me? I'm pretty sure they have asked you that before. I'm getting little spikes here and there. Can you move it? I am now inside the room. I have the SLS camera, as you can see. It's monitoring my body and whatever else is around it. I do have the K2 meter to see if it'll go off while I'm out here. I'm going to ask certain questions and seeing how this is. It's kind of the first time I use this rig, so don't judge me. It'll get better as I go. Is there anyone here that would like to talk with me? Tell me your name, I heard movement. Another thing that I'm noticing is that you're probably picking up a ton of orbs. I've never saw that on my camera or the night vision as much as I am now using the SLS. I don't know if you guys are still picking it up, but I did receive a lot of it uh, while setting it up. Hopefully you guys get to see it. Hello? That was clearly a dog, but it sounded like something agitated the dog. Hello? I'm going to step out of the frame and seeing what happens while I'm away from the frame. If any other targets, you can see their body frames or whatever. Let me go ahead and step out. Can you come closer to the camera so I can see you? What are you picking up? Wait, right there. Look at the chair. It's showing someone sitting on the chair. Zoom in. No. All right, hold on. I was just here a minute ago and I wasn't getting any spikes here, but I think very small spikes, not as much as I'm getting here. Can you move around in the chair so maybe I could pick you up on the SLS? I am now on the third floor where a patient, I believe, by the name of Mose Blackburn had jumped out this very window and ended his life. 
me see if I could turn him on. Or not turn him on, but, you know, turn on the teddy bear. <laughs> Certainly don't want to do that. Uh, here we go. Sounds pissed to wake up. Like cursed at me. <laughs> I am now in the room with the Boo Buddy teddy bear. If anything touches that bear, it's going to react. If anything talks to the bear, it's going to react. Me talking might even trigger it, so I'm not sure. Moe's Blackburn, can you give me some sort of sign that you hear? You can talk to me. You can get close to the teddy bear. It'll react to you. Can you give me... Tell me what 2 plus 2 is. It's 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. But, Mo, if you could get close to me, I'm already freezing as it is. For some reason, it's colder in this building than it is anywhere else. Is it okay that I can be here, Mo? Moe's. Moe's. Mr. Blackburn. Yes, I know my alphabet. E, F, G, H, I, J, K. I got a noise. Mr. Blackburn, do you know your alphabets? I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna let Boo Buddy take care of this floor. Now usually the teddy bear will continue walking, I mean walking, will continue talking, asking questions. Mr. Blackburn? Can you tell me the rest of the alphabets? Or give me some sort of sign that you don't want to do the alphabets? I understand. Oh my god, this thing is disgusting. I'm going to make my way back closer to the boot buddy. Morally because I feel a little bit more safer with the bear. Boo buddy? You got anything from Mr. Blackburn? I got some weird pounds. What? Did you say something? Can you please say it again? That's actually kind of creepy. Not going to lie. I got pounding coming from the walls. And what sounds like people talking. Did you hear that, Blue Buddy? Do you have a favorite song? Yes, Taylor Swift. That seems to be my favorite. You're on the phone with your boyfriend. She's upset. She's going off about something that you said. Outside, because I'm hearing what sounds like Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're telling me the bear just said it's cold in here. I know it's like getting colder and colder. What the hell? 
hell is that? Get a load of that Tonka toy. What are you doing? Don't park next to my truck. At this point now, I'm going to make my way to the most creepiest part of this place, and that is the basement. I'm going to be using all the knickknacks down there and seeing how it works out. Um, it's going to get really cold, so I hope I don't start like repeating myself a lot or shaking, because it's the basement. As I'm going down the floors, you can feel the temperature changing. That's the third. This is the second floor. And the basement. and it felt like something was holding the door. Oh yeah, it is cold. Can I even use this light? I guess this is the children's ward. This is where they had all the babies at. I think that, that horse has scared me before. <laughs> I keep forgetting that it's there. How to treat injuries. something moving outside I don't know if you guys ever get that feeling that when you're inside of a room and you're paying attention to something else and you feel like something just passed by the door you didn't necessarily hear them walking but you felt like a presence passing by the door that's kind of what I just felt all right I'm gonna Continue going outside. I now made it into the cremation chamber. This is more or less where I wanted to see if something would happen. Ooh, I got something there. the 
second time I've heard this door move on its own. Messing with me? Whoa. That looks like a body bag. Or biohazard bag. All right, I'm sorry, but that door has creeped me out too many times today. Time to make my way back upstairs. I can't believe this thing is working. I know I said that like about five or six times. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a train. It's a freaking train. I am going to put everything that I can in the description below to help keep this place going. I think there's a PayPal that I'm going to put in there in the description so you guys can actually send stuff to that PayPal, but that is specifically for this place and to help the design, for the complete construction and the design of this place so this place can still be in even better shape when you guys come and check this place out, which I think everyone should take the time and exploring these locations. Exploration humbles the soul. It's a true concept. That being said, I hope you guys liked what you've seen. I also hope you guys like what I did there for the little intro there. I'm trying to get a little bit more creative. Some of the staff helped me out making that little scene there. Uh, I need a video person to hold the camera. But anyway, I hope you guys liked it. That being said, I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.